Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this year's version of the 2020 Winter Sports Virtual Program. Uh, this is kind of some uncharted territory for us. Uh, apologize for the delay in, in having this, but we are trying to hold off to uh, where we can actually come and meet as a group and present these uh, awards. However, uh, as each delay and each restriction came uh, that were imp implemented with the coronavirus, uh, does not allow us to do this. So uh, we're doing it through the virtual, virtual, and uh, hope you enjoy. Um, as always, I'd like to thank a few people that have helped out with the uh, winter season. And uh, these people are all volunteers. So if you see them or know them, if you would please uh, thank them for their time and their commitment they make to Kenton Ridge High School, and especially the athletic department. Uh, these individuals have helped out in some capacity at games and contests, and uh, we appreciate their help. So Ryan Maurer, Chase Yance, Don Jordan, Christina Rose, Shane Hausman, Jason Bruce, Tyler Costello. I'd like to thank Mr. Hill and Mr. Linkhart, the administration, for the assistance they give me uh, in covering events during, during the winter season. I'd like to thank the secretaries, Mrs. Hill and Mrs. Uh, Henderson. And then also a uh, big thanks to the powerlifting team and the wrestling teams for their help when we hosted meets here at Kent Ridge. And of course, as always, uh, all the volunteers that have helped throughout the year in the concession stand. Uh, also a big thanks to our athletes, uh, the way you represent Kent Ridge High School, uh, the parents for coming out and supporting them, transporting everybody to uh, practices and games and so forth. And also for the coaches that spend a lot of time in uh, you know, instructing your kids and also uh, making them better people. Um, at the conclusion of this, um, the coaches are all going to speak uh, like they would at the normal pro program. And then the kids can pick up awards when they come in on May 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, the school will be open from 9 to 3. You can stop up and we'll uh, distribute the awards uh, that the kids received at that time. So without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our first coach. And that coach is uh, Duncan Thomas with Girls Basketball. Coach, take it over. What's going on everybody? This is Coach Thomas. Another season has over and what an interesting and surprising one has been. When I took the job of head coach, I was somewhat surprised, but I also was pumped up for what was going to be an interesting season. We had our share of success. We also had some not so successful moments, but we did well considering the hand we were dealt. There, were two, there are too many individuals to recognize for the past season. However, I would be remiss if I did not recognize the following award recipients. The Pam Lucas Award goes to Alexis Agret. The Most Improved Award goes to Lauren Rose. The Captain's Award goes to Megan Freeman. CBC Second Team Award, Megan Freeman made that team. The All-County Team, All-County Award goes to Megan Freeman. And the District 9 All-Star Team, Elliot Schleinitz made that team also. I am very proud of all the young ladies from the freshmen to the seniors, and I would like to just say thank you to the team and job well done. Although we all feel a little disappointed in not continuing the journey during the season, it's important to remember that we have learned some valuable lessons. One of the great things about this sport is there is always room for improvement. We can all work on doing something just a little better. When everyone does that, the results can be amazing. And if there is one thing I know about each and every one of you, is that there, is, there isn't anyone who wouldn't give her all for the team, I would hope. To end, I would like to send out some thanks to my assistant coach, Mr. Jeff Volbert, to my scorekeeper, Ms. Sherry Thomas, and to Mrs. Rose for keeping some stats for me at all of the games. Thank you. Finally, I want to say thanks to the players for turning up for practice, games, and occasional weight training sessions. I appreciate each and every one of you. Looking forward to next year. Coach Thomas. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Briggs. I'm the head basketball coach here at Kent Ridge High School. And uh, a little bit about this year's uh, basketball season. Our uh, team this year finished 18 and seven overall. Uh, we are six and four in the Kenton Trail Division. Um, the 18 wins is the most uh, we've had in the last 18 years. So uh, we had four return letter winners that provided uh, a lot of leadership for us this year. Calvin Diver, Blaine Dotson, Tyler Eberhardt, 
and Colin Perkins. Uh, this senior group did a great job of leading the team and set, setting the tone for the entire program. Uh, after a 4-4 four four start of the season, um, we were able to go on a little bit of a run. We had a 10-game winning season in January and played some really good basketball. Uh, the team went on to win two tournament games, which is something we haven't accomplished in a while, um, but ran into a very good opponent in Kettering Alder and lost in the district semifinals. Uh, a few postseason honors that we had uh, based upon their performance uh, during the season. Uh, as Tyler Eberhardt was named first team CBC. Uh, he was also the Kenton Trail Player of the Year. He made the District 9 Coaches All-Star team. And he also um, was the Player of the Year in District 9 Division 2. He made first team Clark County and also was named Mr. Basketball in Clark County. He was also th uh, Southwest District Division 2 third team. Uh, big accomplishment, which uh, getting it done both in the classroom and on the court. Uh, he was named Division II Academic First Team All-Ohio. Uh, and uh, has decided to attend uh, Charleston, West Virginia on a Division II basketball scholarship. So congratulations to Tyler. Next up is Colin Perkins. Colin was named Second Team All-CBC. He was the District 9 uh, participant in the game. Uh, he was also, as along with Tyler, was named uh, Academic First Team All-Ohio, which is again getting it done in the classroom and on the court. And also, uh, he ranked in the top 20 field goal percentages in Ohio, so quite an accomplishment for, for Colin. Uh, last individual is, uh, is Michael Sievert. Michael was special mention All-CBC, and he was in the top 20 for three-point field goal percentage. And then finally is Calvin Divert. He was named CBC Sportsmanship Award. Uh, a few people I'd like to thank for their help throughout the year with our program. I truly appreciate all the time they invest in our program. Uh, first off is my two assistants, uh, Brian Smith, and uh, who does the JV team, and also Shane Hausman, who is my freshman coach. Uh, the JV team had a spectacular season, finished the year 22, I'm sorry, 21 and one. Uh, you know, a great, a great, great run there. Um, Shane Hausman, the freshman team, ended up being 14 and six, and made it to the semifinals of the freshman basketball tournament. These other individuals help out at game contests and also um, throughout the season with us. Uh, Jason Bruce, Keith Schneider, Doug Bates, Don Jordan, Sean Crable, Ryan Maurer. A big thanks to the cheerleaders and their advisors, Kyle Anderson and April Conley, for all their help and then organizing our little uh, Christmas buffet that we have. I uh, appreciate all they do for us. I'd like to thank our trainers, Justin Stanfill and Sarah, Sarah uh, Smith, for all the help they get us uh, getting our athletes back on the, on the court when they're injured. Uh, big thanks to all of our parents. I have a few uh, special awards to pass out. Um, the first is our Bill Smith, Bill Smith Coaches Award. Uh, coach Smith was the uh, first basketball coach here at Kent Ridge High School. Um, was here about 17 years. Uh, this recipient has been a three-year letter winner. Uh, always guarded the best player from uh, the other team. Um, he was injured during the Southeastern game, but basically became another coach for us. Uh, was our biggest fan uh, for our players and really helped to bring out the best of all the players. He worked very hard on his therapy uh, on his ankle to come back and you know, got to play his senior year in the last two games. So it's a big hat, you know, hat off to Calvin Divert, the recipient of this year's uh, Bill Smith Coaches Award. Uh, our next award goes to uh, the most valuable player. Uh, this individual was a first time varsity player and uh, it is a big adjustment coming from the JV team to the varsity. And uh, this recipient is Michael Sievert. Uh, Michael did a great job this year with the varsity uh, ended up being the second uh, leading scorer on the team and finished the season with 57 three-pointers. Uh, he had one game where he had seven three-pointers in one game. And as I mentioned before, he was also in the top 20 for a three-point field goal percentage. So congratulations on a great, great season, Michael. And then finally, um, the last award or a kind of an honor is goes to uh, Tyler Eberhardt. Tyler became our all-time leading scorer in the history of Kent Ridge basketball. Uh, he's been a four-year letter winner four-year starter, 
uh, finished his, his career with uh, 1,374 points, which uh, you know over 360 points past the previous record, which is quite the accomplishment. Um, as I mentioned before, he had many postseason honors, um, and is going to continue his playing career uh, at the University of Charleston, West Virginia, which is Division II school. So we wish all the all luck to him, and uh, you know he finished off a great career here at Kent Ridge High School. I'd like to thank everybody. Uh, hope you're doing well and staying healthy. Thanks a lot. My name is Don Rodman. I'm the head coach of Kent Ridge Bowling Team. I want to start off with the girls team first. The girls team finished third place in our conference, finished sixth place in sectionals, and ninth place in our district. The first special award is Most Valuable Player. This goes to a bowler with a high game of 244, high series of 446. She has been our anchor bowler in the fifth position this whole year and did a great job. The most valuable player is Erica Hefner. The next award is for Most Improved Bowler. This bowler had an average last year of 140. This year, she has improved her average to 166.8 and a high game of 244 and a high series of 414. Most improved bowler, Paige Patterson. Next award is Coach's Award. This bowler all year long did her best to improve her score. She hurt her ankle in midseason and kept bowling. During CBC sectional district, she could barely walk, but she helped us make it through districts. So she earned the Coach's Award, Aaron Harkins. CBC Honors. For the last five years, Canton Ridge has had CBC's Canton Trails Bowler of the Year. This year it hasn't changed. The CBC Canton Trail Bowler of the Year and first team all CBC's Erica Hefner. Paige Patterson earned second team all CBC's. Paige worked hard all year to improve her score and it paid off. The CBC Sportsmanship Award goes to Emma Cox. Emma only bowled one year, but in the start time, in the short time, she's improved her game and helped all the JV bowlers in their game, was always trying to keep the team in good spirits. Thank you. Next is the Kent Ridge Boys Bowling Team. The Boys Bowling Team finished third place in our conference and finished 10th in our sectional. First special award is Most Valuable Player. This goes to a bowler with a high game of 230, high series of 423. He has been our anchor bowler in the fifth position this whole year, and we relied on him a lot. The most Valuable Player is Brent Weinberg. Next award is the Most Improved Bowler. This bowler had an average last year of 170.7. This year he has improved to an average of 186.9, high game of 264, and a high series of 479, most improved bowler, Riley Liddell. Next is the Coach's Award. This bowler was very silent most of the year. As time went on, he started to communicate more and more with his coaches and the team, which helped him improve his game. So he earned the Coach's Award, Justin Pitt. CBC Honors. Riley Liddell earned second team all CBC. Riley bowled extra hours on his own this year to help him improve his game. Justin Pitt. Brent Weinberg were special mention all CBCs. The CBC special, the CBC Sportsman's Award goes to Zach Hibbs. Zach was always trying to help boys team work as a team and improve the team record, which helped a lot. Thanks. My name is Kylie Anderson and I am the varsity cheer coach here at Kenton Ridge High School. I want to start by thanking our administration, Mr. Hill, Mr. Linkart, Mr. Spriggs for their continued support throughout the season. 
our athletic boosters for everything that they do for our teams, our cheer parents for getting girls to practice, to tumbling, um, supporting us on and off the court and competition mats, our basketball parents, our student section, as well as my family for supporting me and coaching this season. This season was a lot of fun. We were able to make a lot of progress with our fundamental skills, as well as working as a team to create new memories and material. Um, we created new material that we enjoyed performing, not only at halftime, but during timeouts and sideline. We hosted our kitty camp dance night again successfully this season. It um, comes from our cheer camp in the summer and the girls learn a lot and then are able to perform for you guys during basketball season. Our peewee organizations really enjoy it and we have a lot of fun um, building our program through this kitty camp as well as kitty camp dance night. We also enjoyed um, creating a little routine with our drum line that we performed during halftime this season and that's something that I would love to see continue. Our competition team um, also finished its season eighth in the state of Ohio in Division 3B um, at our OASSA competition at the beginning of March. Something that I'm extremely proud of, um, not only the success that our team has had throughout the season growing and um, gaining more awards each competition, we improved as a team with our skills and in teamwork, but we ended our season with every single member of our competition team earning the Scholar Athlete Award at our OASSA state competition, which is something that not every team can say. So that was really exciting. I was very proud of our girls. Not only are they wonderful athletes that work very hard, but obviously they take um, their schooling very seriously, and that was something that I was extremely proud of. Um, I have one special award to give for basketball cheer this season. This award is the Captain's Award. It is extremely special because it's voted on by the recipient's teammates. The girls are asked to select a member of the team that they consider to be not only a positive leader, a, but a teacher, a supporter, somebody that they love to follow and that leads by example. So the girls vote on one member from the team that they consider to have all of those qualities and to be their captain. This is someone that they consider a person that they can look up to, that took charge, not only teaching material, but supporting them individually and as a team throughout the season. This year's Captain's Award goes to Madison Camden. Madison is very deserving. She's done a wonderful job leading this season. Again, with all of the things I mentioned, teaching, supporting, and really pushing her team to be the best team that they can be. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for Madison at Ohio State. And she is very well deserving of this award. Thank you. Bob Jacobs, uh, powerlifting coach for Kenton Ridge High School. Uh, I want to welcome everybody here tonight for the awards, and I hope everybody's doing well and your family uh, is doing fine and nobody's sick during these trying times. I was hoping actually we'd get back together before the awards night at school, but it doesn't appear to be happening. Without seeing you, it doesn't feel like the season has been completed. Um, I really enjoyed the times we had, whether it's a group or individually. I think we were destined to do great things as a team at the state meet with several lifters achieving great individual accomplishments as well. It was indicating because of the whole year, we did real well in each meet. Uh, we finished top three just about every meet, and I, I think we would have done real well at the state meet also. I won't say that in state records, but we will always know what we could have and would have done when we went to the state meet. I have several awards uh, prior to that, I'm sorry. i also like to thank my assistant coaches, Drew Clawson, Courtney Longberry, Pam Richards, and Kim Noble. I also want to thank all the parents and alumni powerlifters for all the help they gave through our powerlifting meet and throughout the season. I want to also thank uh, Ryan Richards for helping me out in the meets, uh, wrapping knees and just generally being there supportive of the team. Uh, I give individual awards. The first group of awards are uh, record-based or uh, lift-based where we, I have a certain formula that I give out and I, I can figure out who does what during the season. The best all-around boys lifter goes to Brennan Conley. 
uh, he won practically every meet as the boys lifter, as that percentage that I had. Uh, next best all around girls lifter, Micaiah Hammond. The next two awards are also based on a formula from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, how you improved from the beginning to the last meet. And percentage wise, these two show that they improved the best. The best improved boys lifter, Colin Hansen. The best, most improved girls lifter, Sophia Miller. I also like to give a coach's award. This person I always counted on every time I asked her to do something. She doesn't question it, she just does it. She, she's very uh, vocal and, and does a lot of good things to help the team out, always supporting the team first. Uh, there's a lot of guys like that, a lot of lifters like that, but this one, I th this person here, I think, uh, stood out more than anybody else. And that would go to Michaela Sanders. And the last award is based on uh, an athlete that I had several years back, it's the Josh Lithicum Award. It pretty much paints the person that is also a, a good candidate for Coach's Award, but also beyond that, by doing more to it and giving me more help and always being there every time I needed him. And that award goes to Malcolm Robinson. And lastly, I'd like to let you know that we'll be dedicating next season to the senior class of 2020. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Heather Schaefer. I am the varsity swim coach at Kenton Ridge. Um, I'm going to begin by saying this year was the best year that we've had in all of my 15 years for so many different reasons. Um, but I will just go over some of the, the biggest highlights. First, we had the most swimmers we've ever had on our team with 33. Um, we also had 18 records broken over the course of the season, 18 school records broken. That is a phenomenal number. We had eight relay records broken, four on the boys and four on the girls. And we had 10 individual school records broken as well. We had eight meet records broken. That's probably more meet records than I've had in the past 14 years combined. But this year, with the talent that we had, we had eight meet records broken. The girls' team had an overall record of 87 and 19, and the boys' team had a record of 104 and 6 before entering the tournament season. Um, in December, the boys' team won the Clark County Championships for the fourth time in five years, and the girls' team placed second behind Springfield. Individual champions at that meet include Evan Blazer, in the 100 free and 100 back, Sydney Jones in the 100 fly, Gwen Thomas in the 200 free, and Seth Thomas in the 50 free. In January, we swam at the biggest high school meet in the nation, the Southwest Classic, and we had five swimmers qualify for finals in that. Evan Blazer, Riley Brown, Chase Fife, Sydney Jones, and Gwen Thomas. In January, we had our CBC meet, and the boys captured that title for the fourth time since 2014 and the girls placed second behind Bell Fountain. Individual championships or champions at the CBC meet include Evan Blazer in both of his events, Dylan Day, Chase Fife, Sydney Jones in both of her events, Matthew Mahan, Gwen Thomas in both of her events, and Seth Thomas. And a first for Kitten Ridge, and I am super excited about this, both CBC Swimmers of the Year come from Kenton Ridge that is voted on by all the coaches in the CBC and they voted Sydney Jones and Evan Blazer as the top swimmers in our conference. At sectionals in February, we had seven individual champions. Um, we went on to districts after qualifying more swims than any other year in Kenton Ridge history. We took 15 swimmers and 27 events. Um, we had eight swimmers, then qualified to the state meet in eight events. I think the most I've ever taken from Kenton Ridge at, in one year is two. We've had two swimmers go to state before, and this year we took eight swimmers and eight events. 
We had the girls 200 medley relay team of Riley Brown, Gwen Thomas, Taylor Johnson, and Sydney Jones. We had the boys 200 free relay team of Seth Thomas, Matt Funk, Braden Dunaway, and Evan Blazer. Individually, we had Gwen Thomas and Seth Thomas, both in the 100 breast. We had Sydney Jones in two events. She was swimming 50 free and 100 fly. And we had Evan Blazer in the 200 free and 100 free. And Evan actually made it to the final heat in the 100 free. And he placed seventh. So he was able to stand on the podium at state as a freshman. Um, my sportsmanship winners this year are Hannah Ricketts and Kellen Cronauer. Both swimmers would just do anything that they needed to do for the team. I could ask them to swim any event at any time, and they did that with no hesitation. They really wanted to support the team and give the best to the team. And they were also great sportsmen or showed great sportsmanship to other teams at each meet. Um, that was an easy choice for me. The most improved goes to first year swimmer Kensley Smith and second year swimmer Carson Brand. Both improved incredibly from the beginning of the season, really working hard to reach the goals that they wanted to reach. And they reached them and, and quite frankly, smashed them and, and kept going. Um, coaches awards go to first year swimmer Gwen Schindel and second year swimmer Seth Thomas. Both of these kids are an absolute joy to coach. They're a coach's dream. Um, Gwen is the sweetest girl I've had the pleasure of coaching. Um, she really, really wanted the best for her team and she would do anything that she could to help the team. Um, no complaints, no questions. She was just an absolute joy to coach. Seth Thomas has a tremendous amount of talent. He has been in my top two to three swimmers um, each year that he's been here. He is, he is definitely somebody that I go to when I need something special to happen. Um, and a great attitude again, overall attitude, will do anything for the team. Both kids, just an absolute joy to coach. My most valuable swimmers this year um, got many honors throughout the year with the, the Southwest Classic, with um, CBC Swimmers of the Year, going to stay in both of their events. Um, they just bring so much to this team, and I cannot wait to see where we can go next year with both of these leading the way as well. Um, that is junior Sydney Jones and freshman Evan Blazer. And I think that pretty much does it for me. Um, thank you to all the parents, to administration, to everybody out there who helps to support Kitten Ridge Swimming. Um, we appreciate it.
to the wrestling team. Thank you everyone for taking a leap of faith and putting your trust into me. I was given the keys of this program shortly before our first competition, and you all did a fabulous job of adapting and continuing to go full speed ahead. I'm so thankful for the group of seniors that I was fortunate enough to have lead, the, lead this team from within. Bryce Stamps, Kyson Cook, Anthony Ross, Drew Gray, and Evan Massey. Thank you for putting your trust in me and giving your all every day, even when you didn't want to. There was never a doubt that you guys all loved each other and the sport of wrestling and expected nothing but the same in return from each and every one of your teammates. To put it lightly, wrestling is hard. Early practices over winter break, late practices during the school year, preseason conditioning in the grass, running the Iditarod, the season was tough. I asked so much out of each and every one of you and you never faltered. Each time you looked the challenge in the eyes and said, I can do this all day. You picked up your brothers and demanded excellence from out of each other day in and day out. I'm extremely pr proud to be your coach and I'm so happy with how the season played out. A special shout out goes out to Drew Gray, my first state qualifier. Thank you for trusting in me and the rest of the coaches. You have cemented your legacy among the Kenton Ridge wrestling greats and have paved the way for others to fall in your shoes. Now on to some special awards. Our Gary, Wade, our Gary Wade Memorial Award goes to Anthony Ross. Anthony has been a rock to me and the rest of the team. He gives his all in every aspect of the sport. Anthony does everything the right way and was a great leader in and out of the room. He will be greatly missed and will do great things in his future. Uh, the award for most improved wrestler goes to Matthew Cox. I first saw Matthew wrestle at open mats over the summer. My initial reaction was that he was very long and they used the length well. I was extremely excited to have him in the room for a full year. Matthew knows nothing but hard work and he really came into his own at the end of the season and won six straight matches to conclude his freshman campaign. Keep doing what you do, Matthew. Sky's the limit. And our most valuable wrestler award goes to Bryce Stamps. He's been my go-to guy during the season, and he has helped me show technique to the young guys on the team and was a great influence on the underclassmen and upperclassmen alike. He placed at nearly every tournament we went to and did so in dominant fashion. Bryce will be missed wearing the brown and gold, but I'm sure he will find success for the next four years at Thomas More. Uh, finally, just a few thank yous to close it out. A uh, special thank you to my assistant coaches, Nate Walden, and the middle school coach, uh, John Massey. Thank you guys so much for giving up your weekends to help these boys. Uh, your efforts did not go unnoticed. And to the parents of these boys, thank you so much. You did an outstanding job raising these young men. I look forward to working with you next year.